the Ryman Novices Chase is next in. And we've got a couple of newbies in this one. Three, I think. And it's three miles and one furlong. And it's a novice five-year-old plus chase. The top one is Battle at the Hot Gates. Joshua Sutherland, El Destinvo. Oh, El, El Distintivo, sorry, Obi-Wan, Everybody Sobriquet, Derek Hinton, Fine Fettle, David Robertson, Hawthorne, James Follis, Hot Port, Paul Rhodes, Rambling Rhapsody, Ghost Zapper, The Aristocrat, Kevin Meadhan, Eero Love, Molly Ed Surfer, Cattail, Carl Aragante, and Mare Days, Darren Thompson. So I've got to make sure I've got my teeth in the right way up for this one. And the rain's back, and away they go. With the grey Rambling Rhapsody. Just about poking its head into the lead as they start, and they swing almost immediately left-handed. Uh, race down towards the first of the 20 obstacles that they'll take in this event. And uh, Rambling Rhapsody is half a length clear of Hot Port in second. Then Cat Tail is in third, with everybody sobriquet. After that one, that's a great name for a horse, that one. And uh, Battle of the Hot Gates is next, and comes Aero Love. Fine fettle as they finally get to the first, and they're all over it. And the one that's struggling at the back is El Destintivo at this stage. They're just finding the pace a little bit hot that one, but it's early days yet. And Rambling Rhapsody comes to the water jump in the lead and skips over it nicely. They're all over it okay, including El Destintivo, who is only about three lengths adrift at this stage. So Rambling Rhapsody then three lengths clear as he comes to this ditch, uh, skips over it, they're all over that one as well. With Hot Port in second. See, it's a pretty short run to the next. Uh, Rambling Rhapsody's lead is three or four as they take it from Hot Port. And uh, we've lost something there. Something's gone. Hawthorne's gone. So I think that might be a newcomer for James Follis. I don't remember calling it so far this season. So uh, Rambling Rhapsody's in the lead then from Hot Port second. Cat Days is in third. They're already getting pretty strong out. The front three are running an Indian file on there, well clear of the rest of them are all in a line with the exception of El Destintivo who's just got the loose horse for company at this stage so Rambling Rhapsody, I'll try and do it the hard way from the front, well, they say the hard way that way but Tony McCoy was going on the other day about people saying doing it the hard way from the front he says it's easier to win from the front than it is from the back so I'm sure he knows more about it than most of us uh, Rambling Rhapsody is in the lead, it's probably just one of those commentators lines that have been used over the years that everybody and copies and doing it the hard way from the front so rambling rhapsody then doing it the easy way from the front in hot port is in second cat tail is in third and battle of the hot gates is next everybody sub requires after that one and then hero love and the aristocrat fine fettle the grey on the inside of mere days and el destintivo is just the back marker at this stage of the race. They've still got a little under two miles to race though and Rambling Rhapsody is the leader by about a length. To Hot Port in second. Cat Tail is in third. The gap then to Battle at the Hot Gates and everybody sub-requay with the Aristocrat on the outside. Hero Love just tucked in between them as they take that one. It'll be the second last on the next circuit and race down towards the next. The big screen over what will be the final fence, and now we've suddenly got a leading group of three as we see them from the stand racing away. And that leading group of three is Rambling Rhapsody, Hot Port, and Cattail. And it looks as though El Destintivo has been pulled up. The like that horse was slowing down considerably. I think he's been pulled up. Difficult to tell from so far away. Well, I'm pretty sure he has because he wasn't that far behind, was he? He has been pulled up, yeah. So Rambling Rhapsody then in the lead from Hot Port and Cattail. Then Battle at the Hot Gates and everybody sob require and then Aero Love, Fine Fettle on the inside of the Aristocrat and then Mare Days as they skip over that one and race towards the water jump for the final time. Hot Port has come to join Rambling Rhapsody. Cat Tail is just sitting right behind those two. I need a pants as they take the water. And all safely over that one as well. We the Rambling Rhapsody, half a length up on Hot Port. Cat Tail is next. Battle at the Hot Gates on the inside. Then everybody sub Fine Fine Fettle and Aero Love. Little gap back to the Aristocrat and Mare Days, but they're all over that one as well. And Hot Port. 
on the outside of Rambling Rhapsody as they take the 14th and Rambling Rhapsody made a mistake there and that's allowed Hotport to get into the lead and get over to the fence so Hotport then has now got the rail and has got a two length lead from Rambling Rhapsody has that one going to come back from that mistake Cattail is running its outside fine Fettle has crept into it nicely as they come down to this ditch and over that one they go much better jump this time by Rambling Rhapsody but Hotport has got the lead Hotport by a length to Rambling Rhapsody second Cattail on the outside third, then Fine Fettle and Battle of the Hot Gates. This is the 16th. Over that one they go. Cattail made the mistake this time. Hot Port jumped in best of all and is too clear. Hot Port from Rambling Rhapsody in second. Then back in third is Fine Fettle. Cattails after that one. Battle of the Hot Gates and then Aero Love Mero Days. Everybody's sob request dropped right out of it. But they're down towards the 17th now. That's four from home. And over that one they go. And this time Rambling Rhapsody jumped in best and has poked his head back in front. It's Rambling Rhapsody from Hot Port. Then comes Fine Fettle. The Aristocat trying to nag it into it. Then comes Battle of the Hot Gates. Air look, Cattail looks beaten. Then Mare Day's trying to run on. Everybody sobriquet's beaten. Is the third last. Over that one they go. And Rambling Rhapsody gone too clear again from Hot Port, who's now labouring in second. Then comes the Aristocrat on the outside in third. Battle of the Hot Gates is there in fourth. Air looks trying to run on. Then Mare Day's forget the rest. There's only three furlongs left to race. And it's Rambling Rhapsody in the lead. Rambling Rhapsody's got two to jump with Hot Port renewing really its challenge in second. The Aristocrat trying to get going in third. Battle of the Hot Gates is fourth, then Aero Love and Mare Days, Fine Fettle and everybody Sombrico and Cat Taylor out of it, it's the second last then now, and over it goes the leader, but a better jump by Hot Port Hot Port comes up on the outside of Rambling Rhapsody and just moves his head back in front again they race down towards the final fence, it's all going to come down with a jump and a much better jump by Hot Port, Hot Port gets away from it quicker Rambling Rhapsody trying to dig deep, the Battle of the Hot Gates is running on, but Hot Port into the final fall of Hot Port, and then clear one last attempt by Rambling Rhapsody to get back into the lead, but Hot Port Port. Looks like he's got this one pretty much sound up as they race up towards the line. Hot Port is going to take it. Rampant much his second. Battle of Hot Gates was third. The Aristocrat was fourth. Everybody Sobriquet was pulled up in the straight. But it was a win for Hot Port and Paul Rhodes. Rambling Rhapsody was second for Ghost Zapper. Battle of the Hot Gates for Joshua Sutton, third. The Aristocrat for Kevin Meenahan, fourth. And Aero Love for Molly Surfer was fifth.